Can you turn it on if you're female? Is there a demon here? Raging board inside here. In this area, there's a lot of pretty much drug activity that goes on through the forest. Someone's there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality 9X is around the world. Welcome back to another exciting episode right here on Duality 9X, where we do our best to separate fact from fiction. Uh, today, I get uh, the honor of featuring a legend on YouTube, Franco's TV. Um, I want to thank Holly Gaddens William, uh, who's one of our longtime subscribers. She actually told me that you really got to feature Franco's TV. He's really good. Uh, and so... I, I had the opportunity of featuring one of his older, uh, one of his videos from, from a while back. And uh, it was when he was in the graveyard. And um, I, I think it was somewhere in Mexico. Uh, anyhow, uh, the, the strange occurrences that happened while he was in the graveyard was pretty scary. Uh, and actually, in the video, he almost even, like, he almost got robbed. Uh, it, it's pretty scary stuff because there's a lot of like shady characters and people who are roaming around the graveyards at night. And and meanwhile, while he's shooting this video, the whole time, it's completely pitch black. So he's got these like night vision glasses and it and, you know, these like oh sorry, night vision camera. Uh, th these cameras are so amazing that when, when when you see things through those particular type of lenses, it almost looks like the place is completely illuminated with lights all over the place. But not not necessarily the case and and so anyways if, if you guys get a chance to I'll, I'll try to link the description uh check out that video it's a, it's a good one this one is the night i saw a demon all right so he actually caught a ghost on camera and there's a lot of people commenting on this video that he really indeed caught something of paranormal some kind of a paranormal entity so i, I want to hear your guys comments i want to i want to hear what you guys have to think what you guys have to say uh i i really love this guy's videos he's a true inspiration and um so the link to his channel uh will be in the description uh the link to the original video um definitely like and subscribe you know uh go subscribe to franco tv uh he's absolutely incredible and his content is at a different level so without further ado guys i hope you guys have your beverages your snacks and don't watch this at night or actually for the real experience and the full effect watch it at night so without further ado guys let's get it can you turn it on if you're female is there a demon here raging board inside here in this area there's a lot of pretty much drug activity that goes on through the forest someone's there oh, oh. I can't wait to do a reaction video on this. What is up guys? So right now I'm heading towards a creepy mausoleum where I've had a ton of weird things happen to me here. The only difference is, is that I haven't been here in so long and a lot has changed since the last time I've been here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't run over any potholes as I'm kind of making my way through here. But it should be up this direction. The weather has not been kind. It is super humid, hot, and it keeps fogging up all my lens. So hopefully, I don't have a lens fog up while making this video. At least, there's nobody here so I could have this place to myself. For the time being, unless someone does end up showing up. But as of right now, it doesn't look like there's anybody here. That's what he says right now. But, I mean, 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10 times, or 10 out of 10 times, when you get a chance to see Franco's TV, or any episodes from Franco TV, uh, usually when he thinks he's alone, he's not. mausoleum now you can probably see the tombstones let's see how this place is so i've made it to the mausoleum or like the yeah mausoleum but there's an indoor mausoleum right over here so 
There's those just walking in here is extremely night vision, dark. night vision camera. Let's go this way. I'm not sure if you guys remember this area. But a long time ago, I remember catching a mist. It looked like a spirit pretty much just kind of passing through here. Oh, wow. Look at that right there, guys. Whoa. I think this was before I even had night vision. God, it is so dark. I'm literally looking through my night vision just to see. Just using ambient light from the moon. Way above. What the hell is that? Oh, God. That's frightening. Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. I just heard what sounded like a scream, and that was a train. So right now, besides me slowly starting to get bitten alive, I found the entrance to the mausoleum, and it's right here, kind of covered in darkness. But it's right here nonetheless. Now let's hope to God the doors are open. And change my camera around. I'm now using color. You would think this place would be locked up at night. This place looks completely untouched. Oh. It's like a cockroach oh. there. So this is where I was sitting many, many years ago. I was right over here and I was doing like a spirit box session and I had a chair end up moving on me, which scared the living hell out of me because I was not expecting that at all. Tomorrow is my last. Hello? Whoa. You... Okay, stop, 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 stop. And as you kind of move to the right and there was another chair right here that slowly moved towards me at the same time. And that one actually terrified oh. me. That was like my first big scare that got me kind of exploring graveyards and stuff. So it looks like there was a huge leak here on the floor. I wonder how that happened. that so I have something going off right now it sounds like a that? toy what the hell is that and why is it so loud is there like cleaners in there or like I'm surprised the place was even open. It seemed like it had a lock on the door. I just heard a toy go off. Right in through here. sound like a bang so whatever the hell I just heard just now definitely did sound like a toy going off and then right after that I heard like a Pow! but uh again that could just be anything but the toy is the one that I'm actually most curious for is it this because every time you end up going to certain places 
Every now and then you'll get like random toys that go off. I want to see if it goes on again. I don't know if it was this that went off. No, it's empty. It doesn't have anything inside of it. Right now, I'm going to stay right here. This is the area where the chair had moved on me the last time I was here. I did hear some weird noises of a toy going on. I don't even know what the heck that was about. Along as well with a weird thump. <clears throat> so far, it's quiet. It stinks a little bit here. It's a little bit weird of a musky smell. But I want to get in contact with whatever that was that was making something going off. It even sound like a toy was going off from one of the little mausoleum tables here. I want to see if I could communicate with something that happened to me a long time ago in this very room. Something had moved a chair to the left along as moving a chair to the right of me as I was sitting down or the left of me. Do you know or is there anyone here in this room that's willing to communicate? Because I did hear uh, with some He has a lot of fortitude uh, to be able to call out spirits and especially just just understand the situation he's alone it's late at night he's he's in an area where there's a lot of dead people and he's trying to figure out which spirit or entity caused those chairs to move in his last visit would you do the same That's why he gets paid the big bucks. Like a thump and a, and a sound of a toy going off. So I am starting to get a weird spike. There it is. My hands are right here. I'm literally the only thing in this room right now. Do you know what happened the day? The day that the chair moved on me? Are you okay with me even being in here? My name is Frank. I haven't been here in a long time. Can you tell me if you're male or female? I only want you to turn on the light on this little black box. If you're a male. Can you turn it on if you're female? You see that? It was like an orb or something that just flew by the camera. Are you still with me? There it is, there it is. Are you following me right now? I only want you to just tell me if you're female or a male. Not that it really matters, I just want to know. Maybe I could get an idea of who I'm talking to. Because I got a yellow spike. I'm going to switch over to my spirit box or my ovulus and maybe you could talk to me through that so I could understand you. It's not flashing anymore as much as it was. I'm going to see if I can switch over to the ovulus and see what I can get. It's really hot Please in this place. Please move back. Please move back. Okay. Is this okay? You want me to move further back? Why would I say please move back for? Again, I'm, I'm kind of uh, skeptical. <laughs> I was going to say testicle, but I'm actually very skeptical about how the ovulus works. Sometimes it blurts random stuff and sometimes stuff of significance. Um, again, I'll leave that to you guys. This is kind of what goes with the whole paranormal uh, feel for it, but... You know, sometimes I get lucky and I get some really good responses. Whoa. My name is Mildred. Mildred. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mildred. Are you just passing through the area? Are you from around here? Do you like long walks on the beach? Mildred, if you don't mind me asking, do you know anything about the night when I was here and something moved the chair? Or anything with the weird toy that went on? I'm hoping it would go back off again. White comb, Arnold, Eugene, Frank, even I'm buried here. Wow. Anna. Mildred, are you still with me? Door. Door. 
Which door? Look. There's this door. I wonder if it's talking about the front door. Mildred, what about the door? Now at this stage, it could be any paranormal entity. We don't even know if it's Mildred. It could be somebody else now. As at this point now, I don't know if it's just some farce or what, but I haven't found a tomb with Mildred on it. And I'm checking the door, and the door seems Whoa. normal. Whoa. Demon. Whoa. Is there a demon at the door? The other door is this door, which is like the maintenance room area. Are you saying there's a demon at the door, Mildred? And let's take a look. And the thing is, I'm right? Turn this like, around with me, my little magnetic night vision camera. Why would it just say demon? Like that's a coincidence, you know? He's in. Let me grab my. That's pretty scary Gosh, stuff, right? man. It's but it locked. doesn't seem to be responding no, to him. It seems it's like open. this paranormal entity is controlling the conversation. Every time Franco is asking a is question, there a demon here? the this entity is oh, not shit. responding, is not answering back. Really? You're not gonna believe what I just found. Oh, yikes! Oh, guys, there's a freaking Ouija board in the maintenance room. Oh man. Is this where the demon came from? Because it said door. It's like salt. So maybe the they want Frank the to go inside this door right into this here, room. I'm not going to touch this. But there is a random Ouija board inside here. I don't know if somebody was messing with this thing. And uh, they just put it in here. Listen. Sounds like an airplane, or maybe another train. Oh, I'm freaking out. And it got super hot in this room. I just heard yeah. a um, train pass by from outside. I'm not gonna touch this. I actually got goosebumps just walking in here because I was not expecting to see that. There's a freaking Ouija board on the inside here. I don't know what the deal is with this light, but that is horrifying. Like something you would see in a video game. But there's nothing else here. I'm gonna get out of this room. Cause this is actually really bad. I've been warned a lot not to mess around with this stuff. Close the door. Is that what you Mildred. wanted to show me, Margaret? Oh. Oh, the door just opened. No. No. The door just opened by itself. Are you kidding me? I swear this door just opened up behind me. I closed this door. I don't know if I recorded it, but I just closed this door. Is there a demon in this room? Oh, he still has that Talk box to me. going too, right? Oh. Oh. That is creepy. That is freaking horrifying. Can you do it again for me? 
Margaret, are you showing me that this is the door? I thought he said it was Mildred. Margaret, Mildred, Mildred. Was it, I don't even, Mildred? Can you open the door? Whatever the hell it is, just open the door. Things happen when he least suspects it. But when he's looking... Yeah, I heard that noise too. I just heard something. Why is it so loud in there though? There's like a lot of feedback, right? There's that toy. There's nothing. Legit. Had a bell going off. And so far the door is still closed to the room. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to night vision on this one. Cause it's gonna be hard for him to carry uh, a flashlight while holding two things. So I can pick up anything on the outside of the door. All I got on that stupid obvious was demon and door. I'm assuming that whatever they were talking about was in here because the the board that's in here. Oh god, it is so dark in there. I'm not getting well, anything. The EMF device just Wait. went off a little bit. Do you see that? I just got a spike. Yeah. Right there. Oh, I hear that. There it is. I don't mean to bother you. Mm. Whatever you are, I hope someone oh, definitely closes oh the my session. Gosh. Look at that. Wow. And it's gone. Oh, fuck that. I don't want something following me. Oh, home. oh, oh. Stay here and don't follow me. I didn't come here for you. I just came here looking for anything else. Off. That is so bright. I just got a sound here. All right, I'm going to get out of this room. So I am almost 100% convinced that that could be a demon. I was always taught never to touch Ouija boards like that or any kind of board in general. Because I already have bad dreams at night where a lot of things seem to haunt me in my sleep. And I think it's because I'm always messing around with this stuff. But that was 100% not expected. I was not expecting to find that in there. So the only problem with this specific location here in the back is that in this area there's a lot of pretty much drug activity that goes on through the forest. And a lot of the people kind of roam through the forest or they do the deals within this area here. It sucks because the most beautiful graveyards are always surrounded by the most dangerous of things. And that's just how it tends to be all over the world, pretty much. But this is a very beautiful place. And because it's open to the public, people take advantage of that. This is a quick video of someone I seen coming out of the forest just on something. And it was creepy. So imagine at night. What the hell is she talking to? All right, she's on the move. I saw her smoking some stuff, so she's definitely hitting something. Look how creepy this thing is. I'm hoping that maybe... I can get a little bit of a bird's eye view here. I see anyone's cell phone kind of blinking. that it's music 
And it sounds like it's coming from somebody's car. Is there any people doing drugs? I may be interested. <laughs> I have twenty dollars. Okay. I don't think anybody's here. The whole legend with the Florida man, it is a hundred percent true. I wonder what that is. Now, I don't think this is the mausoleum I was talking about. The mausoleum I was referring to is way further back there, which I'm slowly getting to it. I don't want to come in here with my car and then be a target to whoever's out here. My eyes? I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure his eyes are playing tricks on him, right? He's probably seeing things, imagining things. I'm hearing something. I'm going to turn off IR. Yeah, you can kind of hear it. It's quite faint. There's somebody singing. Yeah, it's definitely like singing or something. I'm going to avoid this side of the graveyard. I'm going to focus more on that side up here. You can hear I it really now. don't want to be seen by anyone. Because the moment I'm seen by one, that's it. It's a wrap. And I have to go home. Oh, that is creepy. I can't see shit. For me, under the trees, it just becomes a dark shadow. Pleasant. safer that I'm doing this while being armed. I just heard it again. I am not seeing anything. It is just empty. Even if I turn off my IR, no lights whatsoever. But it sounds like the singing stopped. Alright, I'm going to head to the opposite side now. This is the mausoleum right here. It's like the darkest one hidden in the very back. Turn on my IR so you guys could see. or something. Oh, they just disappeared. Oh no, they're right there. They just went back in. This is that area that I was telling you where all the drug addicts go. It's back here, but that was fucking creepy. I look like a bald chick. 
Hmm. Maybe a skeleton? All right, I'm going to get out of this area. So there's like people sleeping inside that mausoleum. Again, right behind that mausoleum too where the trees are. It's super thin. It just branches over to a bad neighborhood. But I thought it would be interesting to check out this graveyard. Not expecting that I was going to end up seeing... I don't know, that freaked me out. I just was peeking around the corner and then I was looking on the night vision and I see what looks like a face. A really pale face. Just staring at me. I don't know how I he does I didn't know there was a random house here. I don't remember this. I'm not going in here, but... I've just never seen a house over here on this side. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed episode i was actually really pushing my luck on this video because back there there's a really big homeless encampment and there's also a lot of drug activities at the same time and i kind of knew that this was a possibility but i did know too that there were some stories about that creepy mausoleum in the very back in the dark where it's really good for paranormal activity if you go in there and you focus on it the only thing is is that at night is a lot harder to focus on that and there's a lot of creepy things that happen at night involving people but anyway Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. That being said, I love you. Wish me luck. And let me know in the comments below, should I come back? Should I not? Let me know. I think uh, that one mausoleum that I went to indoors was freaking amazing. But till then, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye, guys. Wow, guys, there you have it. Frank did it again. You know, he's, he's definitely somebody... Like if if we're in a like a post apocalyptic world, he's definitely one one person I definitely want to be uh, be around. Uh, he seems to know how to navigate his way uh, through a lot of adversity, right? Um, you know, he he's he's trying to explore places where there is a lot of talk uh, about paranormal activity. And he not only finds things that kind of fall in line with, uh, w you know, w with that kind of uh, content, but he tends to find some other things as well that can be kind of creepy and paranormal as well. And I'm not sorry, not necessarily paranormal, but he does often find find himself um, in kind of sticky situations where uh, there could be, you know, people who may not have the best intentions kind of hanging around certain places at night. Uh, you know, people perhaps maybe doing drugs or doing all kinds of whatever, whatever the reason, but definitely strangers and, and not really sure what's going to happen when he comes across those people. So he puts his, uh, you know, he definitely puts his life on the line, uh, if you want to say that, uh, so he could provide this value added content that he's able to share with us. Uh, so exciting video that that part with the the Ouija board that was pretty scary stuff and his that box that he had that can kind of convert things to like sound uh said some very interesting things right told told him to move back he moved back and and then the person said their name was Mildred then they said go check the door then they said demon that's it though but I mean all those things were were quite um coincidental because the place that he happens to be you know, those are the kind of things that you would think, you know, would be kind of hanging around or anyhow, uh, pretty scary stuff. I hope you guys like the video. Um, you know, if, if, if you guys like the video and if you want to see more of uh, Frank and Franco's TV, um, please put it in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to, to continue to do reaction videos. Uh, and uh, he, again, he does an amazing job. Uh, he, he checks off a lot of boxes when it comes to um uh, you know, the scare content and, and the things that you're kind of looking for in these kind of videos. Uh, he's so down to earth. He's a natural. Uh, so definitely when you get a chance, please subscribe to him. And if you guys like my content, please smash the like and subscribe. And um, hey, I want to hear from you guys. Please put in the comments. Tell me where you guys are from, the country, and I'll, I'll definitely try to give you guys a shout out. So thanks again, Holly. Uh, that was great. Uh, so guys, until our next adventure, in the meantime and in between time, I hope you guys stay safe. Until the next one. Until we meet again. Take care, guys.